Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Bubba Dub Show. I'm your host, Bubba Dub. Uh, I'm back. Let's get to it. Uh, hit the like button right now. Go on and hit the subscribe button right now. You know that's what I like when you hit that like and subscribe button. Go on ahead and get ready to get in the comments because you know I'm about to go down through every day. Today on the Bubba Dub Show, we talking about the 10 top quarterbacks in the NFL right now. And we're starting with number one, and you already know who it is, that zebra cake. Damn, dog. Who's what zebra? Patty Mahomes. That's who I'm talking about. Last year had 27 touchdowns, 13 picks. Threw for over 4,300 yards. Yeah, Patty Mahomes, Super Bowl MVP, and another champion. That's what we're talking about right now. Patrick Mahomes right now is the best quarterback in the game right now, and it's not even nothing to argue about. I don't think nobody that's watching this show going to argue with me that Pat Mahomes is not the best quarterback in the game right now. He's coached by Andy Reid. You're a big Andy, big jolly fellow. Yeah, dressed in all red. Look like an Eminem to me. That's what big Andy Reid Andy, Andy Reid look like to me. But let me go ahead and break it down to y'all why Patty Mahomes is the greatest. Well, not the greatest, but is the best quarterback in the game right now. For number one, he's been in the league eight years. Been to four Super Bowls, got three. Been in the league eight years. Been to four Super Bowls, got three. So half his career been in the Super Bowl. His first year starting, starting, threw for 50 touchdowns. And, it, and what, what made Patrick Mahomes so great is not only that he can get standing in the pocket and throw the ball, he can extend plays like a Brett Favre or Tony Romo could or, or a normal running back, um, running back type quarterback could do. He could throw the no-look passes. He just make everything look seem effortless. That's how good Pat Mahomes is. I mean, what can I say? They don't want back-to-back. NFL Super Bowl, back to back. That's that's hard to do in itself. And they're competing for a third one. Yeah, they're going for a three-peat. And if, I'm going to be honest, they favored to go back. Now, some of y'all going to say, no, nah, dude, no. Nah. Nah, the Kansas City Chiefs is favored to go back to the Super Bowl this year. That just point plain and simple. That's it. I don't, I don't see nobody else in the AFC. And we'll talk about it on the other quarterbacks that I'm going to mention from there, see. But I don't really see nobody right now that can beat Kansas City Chiefs. I, I don't see it. Like, they got Travis Kelsey, probably the best tight end in the game right, right now. It's like a trio. You got Andy Reid, you got Pat, Pat Mahomes, and you got Travis Kelsey. I mean, they lost Tyreek Hill and still done won two rings without him. What the hell did they tell you? They lost one of the... Top one, one of the top ten players in the game, and Tyreek Hill, and still won two more Super Bowls without it. That should let you know how special Pat Mahomes is. And he's from East Texas. Come here, you know, Doug from East Texas. You know, I'm gonna talk that talk, and I'm gonna talk that shit. Yeah, but I'm speaking nothing but facts today. He been in the league eight years, y'all. Think about it. Been the four Super Bowl, one three. To have this man career been in the Super Bowl, this man is a fucking winner, a winner. And I know y'all got Tom Brady as the GOAT right now in quarterback, rightfully so. But this young man coming, and don't get me, well, uh, Tom Brady beat him in the Super Bowl. Eli beat um, Brady? Do that mean Eli better? Hell no, it don't. I'm going off the eye test. I'm going off what I see, what I feel, what I hear. Pat Mahomes is him. Got three. Got three. He get four more Brady ass out of there. That's all I'm saying. Now, that's number one. We're going to go around this together. Get in the comments right now. We're going to go around. We're going to dissect this shit today like we're in biology class. We're going to dissect this top, top 10 quarterbacks in the league right now today. I got time. I got time. Number two, Lamar Jackson. Yeah. League MVP last year. Threw for 24 touchdowns. Had seven interceptions. Ran for over 821 motherfucking yards. That's what Lamar did. And he had an agent, Odell Beckham, over there that never really worked out. Let's just, let's just be real. That never really worked out. They got Zay Flowers over a wide receiver. And they done brought in Derry Henry. Damn, dude. What that mean? That mean you can put seven, eight in the box you want to. I play action. I throw it over your mother in head. That's what's going to go on up there in Baltimore right now. That's what's going to go on in Baltimore right now. And you ain't going to stop. You ain't going to be putting everybody in the box. Because they was already putting eight men in the box to stop Lamar. 
Now you bring big on uh, heavy set ass on uh, Derrick Henry in that from Alabama roll tide. We talking about a Nick Saban player, somebody who gonna hit that motherfucking hole, <laughs> stiff arm you get out the way. That's what Derrick Henry bring to the Ravens. Toughness. Somebody gonna get down here. And if he get in the second, Derrick, you already know it's lights out. A big six four, two forty five train coming down with you. Them damn safeties and quarterbacks ain't gonna want to get in now. Not especially when it's cold. Tell me I'm lying. So think about what Lamar got now. He got a little bit more help. Like I say, he threw for 24 touchdowns last year, seven interceptions, ran for over 821 yards, was the league MVP. Lamar Jackson, something special. Now y'all can say, oh, man, but he threw the ball great. Stats, numbers ain't like threw the ball getting great with no help. Oh, they're old than a motherfucker, and y'all know it. Oh, they're going to tow every ligament in your lovely head. From the knee all the way down to the ankle. You know I ain't lying. And I got love for Odell. I got love for him. But he didn't make a difference over there with the Ravens. That's all I'm saying. Now, you watch how Derrick Henry come in this year, and you're you going to see what he's going to do for them. Like, he's going to help him out a whole lot. Them play action, all them boot legs going to be a little bit more open and clean to get around their head because they worried about Henry. They was already worried about him no more. Now, I got to worry about him. She. It's going to be some smoke in the city this year. At that, at, that, at that conference, anyway, with the Steelers, the Browns, the Ravens. Yeah, somebody else I ain't. Bengals. Out of, out, of that, out of that conference right there, it's going to be hell to pay out that AFC. Uh, I think it's AFC North. That's going to be hell to pay out that, and I can't wait to see it. So let me know right now. Get in the comments if you're watching this show today. Let me know, do you think Derrick Henry will make a difference with Lamar Jackson? Will they lead the league in rushing? Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry as a duo, will they lead the league in rushing? Let's see. I'm just, I'm like everybody, I'm a spectator, but at the end of the day, I just can't wait to see some good ass smash my football. I can't wait to see, I can't wait to see them Ravens and them Steelers. I can't wait to see them damn Ravens and the Browns and I, the Bengals. I can't wait to see it. Now that's number two. Number three, Josh Allen. Yeah, I know that big son of a gun said some things about my people that I don't like, but you know what? I ain't gonna hold that against his game. I ain't gonna do it. Josh Allen, the truth. 29 touchdowns last year, 18 pick. He got to stop turning the ball over, but he take chances. That's what I got to get. God, Josh Allen take chance, and he'll run that motherfucking ball too. Big 6'5", 275 coming down. They'll yeah, picture a big Ben Roethlisberger, but better. Dub, you saying Josh Allen better? I am. He ain't got no ring yet. He looking more like Jim Kelly. I get it. He ain't got no ring yet. Yeah, Josh Allen looking more like Jim Kelly right now. But the, you can't deny his talent. He's the third best quarterback in the league right now, in my eye. What he's able to do throwing the ball and what he's able to do running the ball. I'm just saying, man, don't call him. He bigger than Lyman. He bigger than the Lyman. I mean, he big on like, and they lost digs. I, I really don't know. You no, know, they probably going to spread the ball out a little bit more, spread the ball a little bit more this year than having to look for their number one target and Stephon Diggs and rightfully so. You a, a receiver like that, man, you got to get him the ball. But maybe this might just make him better. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying Buffalo Bill might be better with Ab Diggs than they were with him. And y'all like, man, well, how is this? So, but when you have an offense, you got a number one receiver like that. You got the game plan for him. You got to try to get him the ball. You got to try to get him the ball for about early. If not, you know, time you'll lose him, you see him over there running around mad, he ain't got the ball, rightfully so. Because when he get the when he did get the ball, great things happen. But when he don't, he, you know, your body language, you know, you're saying your body language ain't right. Now you ain't running the route like you probably running because you ain't because you like, man, I ain't going to get the ball. So I actually think we might see one of the best versions of Josh Allen this year because he's going to have to do more with less. And sometimes players do more with less than they do with more, then you get less, uh, you know, production from them. But Josh Allen is number three. Number four, I got to go with Matthew Stafford. Came off a Super Bowl win about two or three years ago. Hey, y'all can say what y'all want about Matthew Stafford. Ain't too many quarterbacks in the league can throw the ball like this. Him and Sean McVay, what they've been cooking up over there, because they've been hurt. They done lost some players. But now they got that wide receiver, Puka Nakua. Go. Damn Puka Nakua. Bro, he ain't the fastest. But he got he run great routes. He got good football speed. He can get open. He can jump. And most of all, he can catch. And most of all, he's dependable. 
He ain't like Cooper Cup. I like Cooper Cup. But every time I look around, Cooper Cup got something wrong with his hamstring, something wrong with his ankle, something wrong with his feet. You don't want that as a damn player. Mm-mm. You want a player that's going to be able to play. When I need you, I need you on the damn field. That ain't been Cooper Cup. That's been Puka Nuka. Puka Nuka. Uh, Puka Nuka. That's his name. Um, matter of fact, he was a rookie last year. Matter of fact, rookie. Do it, broke all them records as a rookie. Um. Single handedly kept uh kept the Rams um in it. If you want to be real, kept them in it. Cause they really ain't because the Rams ain't got no run game. And that's the problem, son with Bay. We know you're a great offensive coordinator. We know you're a great coach. We know this and that, but you need you a motherfucking running back to take the pressure out Matthew Stafford. 36. He ain't young no more. This ain't the uh, Detroit um uh Lion uh Stafford. Uh, three or four years ago, Stafford that you got down in L.A. See, he been in L.A. too long now. He been he been down on that this ain't trash. Been to the cookie store. You know what I'm saying? Shit, done had about 95 tacos. In. He ain't the same damn Stafford. Might look like a Bugatti, but he running like a Lamborghini. That's all I'm saying. He ain't the fucking same. So you might want to get you a running back this year. Rams, I don't know if you have or not. I don't know. But you got to establish the running game this year to go along with that passing game. Stafford got him and um, um, Puka Nuka. Him and Puka Nuka. Shit, that's like Dirk and Steve Nash, if you add me. I, I love that combination. You know, adding Cooper Cup, if he can stay healthy, bring that back. And let's see. You know, Aaron Donald just retired from the Rams. So it's all over the place right now with the Rams. At number five, I got CJ Stroud. Uh, what he had 23 touchdowns. Um, matter of fact, Stafford had 24 touchdowns, 11 picks. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself, but uh, CJ Stroud had 23 touchdowns, five interceptions as a rookie in 15 games. God damn it. That's what he had last CJ Stroud, and he only had Tank Dale last year. Now they can add it in Stefan D. Oh, God damn it. Now he did all that as a rookie. Now you bringing in a number one to go with Tank. Shit. I'm starting to think the Texans might be the best team in Texas right now. And I'm a Cowboy fan. Die hard till I die. Till I'm in that casket. But let me tell you something about C.J. Stroud right now. 6'5". Yeah, 6'5 with dreads. Hmm, that's a deadly combination right there, Bubble. I know damn well it is. Got him to the division round two as a rookie. Won his first playoff game as a rookie. Got him to the division round last year. Well, they did lose, but he got him now. Wasn't nobody expecting that shit to come from the Texans with D'Amico Ryan. Wasn't nobody expecting the Texans to do that. But see, the Texans said, we here now. And I want to commend D'Amico Ryan and his coaching staff for what they was able to do with, with this young man. How they done brought him along so fast as a rookie. So I mean, guy look like a veteran. Just a rookie. So he's only going to get better. Because D'Amico Ryan, them not bullshitting now in Houston. Them serve shipping that Texans not bullshitting. They believe. And once you got players on your team that believe that they can do this, shit, that's success. That's success in all of itself right there. And the young man believe. He's a fun guy. He's not all stuck up to himself. I see him out and about. He's on podcasts. He's having fun. He's a big kid. So be on the lookout for CJ Stout after that. So who is that? I got Pat. I had Lamar. I had Josh Allen, I had Matthew Stafford, and I had C.J. Stroud. That's five. Number six, uh, Dak Prescott. Before you motherfuckers even say something, before y'all even say something. Nah, go on, see. I know y'all gonna say something. Dude, you trip. Nah, I'm being real. I got Dak Prescott, number six, 36 touchdowns last year, nine interceptions. Now, when it comes to regular season play, regular season stat, Dak is, ain't too many can compare to fam. I'm just being real. Dak one and them. Now, his problems is in the playoffs. When we get there, we take our ass home. That's the problem with Dak. Dak is top t- one of the top 10 quarterbacks in this NFL. I'm not just picking him just to pick him because I'm a Cowboy fan. I'm picking him because he got the numbers. He got the stats. That's all I'm saying. He got the stats. Now, Dallas, I don't know what y'all going to do. CD Lamb holding out right now. I don't like that. Jerry, hey, go on and, go on and cut the check. But you you cut the check for the old ass keys you done had on outside your marriage. Go on and cut the check for CD Lamb. That's all. Look at him as another child that you got to pay. Go on and take care of him, Jerry. Because we ain't got nobody else. Zeke, shit. Zeke full of oatmeal pies right now. And y'all know it. I don't, I don't tell me. I'm, hey, man. Jerry, 
relationships, everything. Just like just like it right now, fellas. Relationships ain't the same as they used to be. When you first met your girl, you loved her to death. You couldn't wait to see her. She gave you butterflies. She gave you all the head and vagina that you ever wanted. Six months later, she gonna make you feel that way no more. Now she give your ass heartburn and gas. You know I ain't lying. You don't look at your girl and say no more after six months. You used to, ooh, come here, baby. Not no more. Shit. You be waiting to get that phone call. I'm working overtime. Good. Got to deal with your bullshit and your mouth trying to go through my microphone. Now I got to sit here and do everything. I don't want to do all that. But them first six months, oh, y'all love it up. Y'all going everywhere together after eating church, taking trip. Six months after, shit. You trying to get some Pepsi that ain't seen or something. This whole hurting you. You know I ain't lying. I'm keeping in the book. But back to Dak Prescott. He's number six on my list right now, man. The numbers don't lie, y'all. Just simply go and look at the numbers. I know that in the playoffs, his numbers ain't th- I know. We talking about regular season. Who the top ten quarterback right now? Dak Prescott is number six. Number seven, serve shipping that Jalen Hurts for the Eagles. The Eagles was hot as, uh, hot as coffee being boiled outside in Africa. They was hot. They started like 10 and 1. They lost their last five, six uh, games of the year. That shit need to be studied. But other than that, Jalen Hurts had uh, 23 touchdowns, 15 picks. A lot of that came in the second half, the interception. I still feel like Jalen Hurts is still one of the top quarterbacks in the league right now. He still have A.J. Brown. He still have Devontae Smith. They brought in Saquon Barkley. So he's not going to be having to try to run around and be Superman like he normally be trying to be. Now you can just hand that mother off to Saquon. Long as he healthy, Saquon going to perform. With my Philly fans, like, I know y'all in here right now roofing. I know it. You got you something. Long as you can keep him healthy. I look at Saquon Barkley. He like a car. You got to keep good gas in him. Any water get in that, in that, in that tank, he get the spurting in it, and that means it hurt. And he known to be hurt. But long as y'all keep that good gas up in um, Saquon Barkley, the Eagles, y'all going to be all right. Y'all going to be all right. And I'm going to go out on the limb to say this. The head coach for the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, if the Eagles don't make it to the Super Bowl this year, I think Nick Sarionji um, will be fired. That's my take. Maybe I'm wrong, but I really feel like that debacle they had, the Eagles had last year, if they going to have a, a winning season this year or go to the Super Bowl this year, he will be fired by Jeffrey Lurie and Harry Roseman. That's my word on that. My next uh, quarterback will be Joe Burrow. He, y'all, see, y'all see Joe Burrow on New Hair? Motherfucker look like Powell. Look, that white boy playing on that move with Powell. That's how he look. But nevertheless, Burrow was hurt last year. He played no more than 10 games last year. Had 15 and 6, 15 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Um, he got Jamar Chase over there right now. Uh, he just been banged up. Don't forget, three or four years ago, he went to the Super Bowl. But, um, Joe Burrow been banged up. He still completed over 66% um, percent, um, on his passes, which is great. Quarterback competing almost 70%. In my eye, you can't lose with that. I think Joe Burrow is one of them guys out of LSU. Uh, he's a baller. Like, he's tough. He he, he play when he hurt. Uh, and that's all you could ask for from a quarterback, man. He, uh, you know, he can read defenses as well. Uh, I like I like uh, Joe Burrow a lot. Uh, him and Jamar Chase. But uh, let's do or die this season with them for me, for Joe Burrow. Let's do or die, fam. You took him to a Super Bowl a couple years ago. You ain't never really got back there. Then you've been banged up. A lot of, a lot of eyes on you. You got you got the paper. Damn it, Cincinnati needs you. Now, it brought a fell off. Damn it, Cincinnati needs you up there. They need you and more than the damn chili they got up there. They need you, Burrow. They need you to come through and be the savior. Boomer Sizer can save him. Corey Dillon couldn't save him. Ocho couldn't save him. Damn it. T.O. went over there for a spell. Carson Palmer. God, they, they need Joe Burrow to save him up there in Cincinnati. That's all I'm saying. So maybe y'all may need that Brongo coming in there and talk to y'all and get y'all. A, it's going to be funny. It's going to be. Bring me in. Let me talk. I'll get y'all motherfucker motivated up there in Cincinnati. Don't nobody believe in y'all. Not even the owner. But I do. I fucking do. You got, you got to believe in them. Yeah, offensive line, get with your quarterback. Tell him, don't be holding the ball that long, Burrow. One, two, three, and I'll be out your motherfucking hands. Because we need you healthy. We need you up. We're going to need you running around here limping. That ain't what the Cincinnati Bengals need. Cincinnati Bengals need a healthy Joe Burrow. 
because Joe Burrow is healthy, it means success for the Cincinnati Bengals. Quarterback after that, I got to go with uh, Brock Purdy. Come on, dude. How you going to go with Brock Purdy? 30, what do you have? 31 and 11. 31 touchdowns, left pick, and took him to the Super Bowl. Bro, y'all can say what y'all want. Man, man look, y'all can say the man uh, was a system um, quarterback. Lie. When y'all going to finally give Brock Purdy his uh, credit, bro? Last two years, the boy been putting in work. He been putting in work. Yeah, he got Debo over there. I don't know about the other receiver. Um, that's how my leave in the Jai. I, I I don't know if he's gonna be there or not. He still got Christian McCaffrey in the backfield. Uh fucking not gonna be there. I still got probably the best uh left tackle in the game in Trent Williams. I'm talking about the San Francisco Fogan. I still got Nick Bosa coming off the side. The Fogan not gonna be fine. Brock Purdy is top 10 quarterback in the NFL right now, and y'all need to pay him. John Lynch, go on and write the check for Brock Purdy right now. Ain't nobody else coming in now. That's going to be better than Brock Purdy. He took the job of uh, Jimmy Porn Garoppolo, and he's been balling ever since. Now, San Francisco, y'all been getting them. Now, y'all ain't won. You been getting them. Now, I'm sick of y'all 49 fans talking stuff to me about my cowboy, but we ain't been to the Super Bowl. That's right. We ain't been, and y'all been. But y'all ain't won nothing either. That's all I'm saying. Y'all ain't won nothing else. Since y'all beat the um, San Diego Chargers, that's the last time the San Francisco 49ers won a Super Bowl ring. And the year after that, the Cowboy won. Yeah. Okay? Steelers. Okay. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Y'all ain't no better than us. Yes, y'all been getting there and I get it. But y'all ain't won no Super Bowl after that. Now, when it come down, who that? I had Pat, Lamar, Josh Allen, Matthew Stafford. CJ Stout, Dak, Jalen Hurts, Joe Burrow, Brock Purdy. That's nine. Nine, we had 10. Uh, I really want to put A Rod in there, but A Rod was hurt last year. So I got to go with Justin Sherbert. I know it's Herbert, but I'm going to go with Justin Sherbert right now. He got Jim Harbaugh, uh, new coach coming in from Michigan. I feel like he's going to. He, they're going to put up good numbers this year. Jim Harbaugh and the LA Chargers are going to put up great numbers this year. And just, Justin Herbert, right now, is a better quarterback than Aaron Rodgers. I can't put Aaron Rodgers over him because Aaron Rodgers is coming off a Kibis injury, and that just won't be fair at his age. Now, whether this was five or six years ago, so A Rod probably be right up on the Pat Mahomes, but it's not. A Rod was 38, 39, almost 40, uh, coming off a Kibis, um injury. Um, we're going to know how he's going to come back. We really don't know. Yes, he's running around in practice right now, but it ain't nothing like game, game time and, and game speed. So, other than that, right now, I got to go with Justin Herbert right now. 6'5", um, 6'6". Six, six, six. I ain't got King and Allen over there no more. But Jim Harbaugh, he know how to get the uh, most out of the least. I would say the least. Don't forget, he coached the 49ers a couple years ago, too. He had Colin Kaepernick. Remember, nobody didn't believe in Kaepernick. He, Kaepernick took – who that? Ali Smith. Yeah, he got rid of Ali Smith for Colin Kaepernick. Jim Harbaugh did. He was doing that with uh, – Kaepernick, what you think he could do with Justin Sherbert? Get in the motherfucking comments right now and talk to me. What do you think he would do with Justin Sherbert right now? I know what he's going to do. They going to put up some damn numbers. They going to put up some damn numbers. I rock with Jim Harbaugh because why? He likes to cheat to win. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying to win in my book. See, now y'all, that's my top 10 quarterbacks in the NFL right now. You welcome to go through it, dissect it, get in the comment section with me, and let's talk about this shit. Cause I'm, I'm here. I'm, I ain't going nowhere. I'm here all day to talk about it. And I know the first thing y'all gonna wanna say, I can't believe you had Dak number six and did. Man, what Dak ain't did nothing to y'all, man. He, he ain't got no hard work. A whole lot of these motherfuckers ain't got no hard work either. Now let's talk about it, bro. I ain't got none. No more ain't got none. Who is on there? Uh, Brock Purdy ain't got none. Just Sherbert ain't got one. Josh Allen ain't got one. And his numbers is battle. His number is, that numbers is battle. Now, me and Jerry Jones, we're going to sit down. We're going to have a conversation. Because it still seems like at times that can't see the motherfucking field like he need to see. I need to be on the sideline in critical situations at the Cowboy home game when, when, the, when they come down with the ball and that hand. That motherfucker need to look across there and see me. He need to see me to keep it motivated. Motherfucker.
go stay focused. Wake up. Wake up. You want that money? You better go get the damn honey. This is big business. I'm on these football boys. I'm on pride pick. Motherfucker, I got, I'm, I'm, I'm going to win. I ain't the only one. I ain't the only fan that him want to win. Everybody that's watching this show want their team to win. Tell me I'm lying. I just want Dak to live up to his potential, man. Live up to his potential, man. The guy got it. He got it, man. I don't. Maybe it's like they say it's in between right here, man. Sometimes people could be a boxer could be good, man, for the first three or four rounds, and after that, eh, he's out of there. Dak, you got to be cerebral, bro. You got to. I mean, I mean, at times I see you shred the defense. I, I mean, you can't miss. Then at times you get throwing the ball like you, Jameis Winston. I don't get no. He throwing the ball sometimes like Josh Allen because he throw picks too. But I, it's, it's some interception, I be like, man, come on, fam. I could have made that read. Come on, dog. How could you possibly think he was Oh, And us fans, we get so frustrated with that, dog. Because that could have be 25 for 29, 330-something yards, four TDs, and one pick. And the one pick be just turn. Like, come on. I get it. Man, you know, I'm just saying, if you're watching this show right now, you know I've been breaking down the top 10 quarterbacks in the game right now. I broke it down to where everybody can understand what I'm talking about and, 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 and showed you that Doug know what the hell he talking about. You damn right I do. I don't just get on here just to be talking. Now, when they come to their politics, I don't know shit about politics. I know y'all been in the comments mad. Doug, you voting for such a... Man, I ain't said I'm voting for no damn body. Ain't what I said, man. I said for y'all to go out and vote for whoever you want to vote for. That's all. I don't give a damn about politics. I care about sports and comedy. That's it. That ain't my damn thing. I ain't no damn politician. And ain't finna be. Ain't finna try to be. And some of y'all ain't either getting mad. Man, I'm going to stop following you. I don't give a damn. Because if I lose one, I gain 10. I got God with me in the end. You understand what I'm telling you, man? Hey, we rocking and rolling today. Check this out, man. If you at work right now, man, and you can't watch the show, go to Apple Podcasts right now. Go to Apple Podcasts. Go to Spotify. And, man, go and download it, man. Go and download Apple Podcasts. Hey, if you ain't, you know, and, and type in the Bubba Dub Show. Or go download Spotify and type in the Bubba Dub Show, man. Watch the show, man. Subscribe to the show. Leave comments on the audio for your boy. We're doing great over here. On, on, we're doing great over here on YouTube. The numbers going up. The lights going up. The views going up. The shares going up. Uh, thank y'all so much for that. I've been nominated uh, for best comedy podcast. Uh, we're gonna have a link down below where y'all can go and vote for me for the best comedy podcast and people choice on the podcast. If you don't mind, do me that favor. We'll have a link where you can click on it. We can get that done. Um, I'm excited, man. I'm just excited time to even be considered in something like this. You know, I just started over here with, with the volume and uh, Say Say Me. I just started over here. I really ain't even really uh, just cranked up yet like I'm going to football season. I can't wait. I know y'all can't wait as well. Um, I ain't even cranked up yet. So to be already nominated is is just it's a thanks to y'all for even just coming over here from Unk Show and, and scrolling on down and finding out who I am and, what I'm about. Yeah, my show is strictly comedy, mixed with sports. I know I got into I get into other little things, but I don't really care about that. That's just a, something to talk about. Cause I know sometimes y'all be wondering what's be going on with certain things. And I want to make sure I tap in with y'all on those certain things. I don't want to miss nothing. You understand? I don't want to miss nothing. God damn it. If you go water, damn it, I'm the faucet. That's all I'm saying. We need to be hand, we need to be together. Water faucet. You get it? There you go. But uh Nevertheless, though, man, uh, this show is also being presented by Prize Picks as well. Uh, if you're a first time user, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. Go and download Prize Picks. Use my promo code TRASH. T R A S H H. Two H's. That's my promo code. Um, go in there and download it. First time user, you can put in $100. They'll give you $100. So that means you got $200 to play. And the only way you're going to win over here, <clears throat> if you only way you're going to win on Prize Picks is if you're going to play. Simple as that. Um, the way to play the game is more or less. Uh, so they might uh, ask you, uh, uh, Shuey or Tony, uh, how many uh, home runs would he have? They may have one and a half home runs. You either just put more or less. You think he's going to have more home runs or you're going to think he have less than one and a half home runs. Same way it goes Aaron Judge, um, RBIs. You know, um, RBIs are home runs. Aaron Judge are home runs. They might have him slated for uh, one home run. 
You can even put more or less. Switch it over. You can switch over to uh, hockey as well. Uh, and, and play the game as well. They, they'll ask you on the goals or whatever player you, you want to pick in hockey, and you either put more or less, or you can scroll down to the WNBA, Aja Wilson. They may have us later to have 23 points. You put more or less. The only way you're going to win on prospect is if you don't play. Now, when you go and download prospect, it'll ask you your location. You put your location in, they'll let you know whether or not you can play prospect in your state. As simple as that, um, go and download that right now, man. Prospect is great to play. Uh, I be having a lot of fun on it. I know a lot of y'all be on there playing. Some of y'all win. Some of you lose. That's the game. But on prize picks, it's no losers. It's always winners over there, man. Uh, Sonia Massey, RIP, lost her life in a senseless murder to a police cop, to a police officer. It's sad, man. Um, she didn't do nothing wrong, man. You know, sometimes them killings be justified. Sometimes they don't. But this killing was not justified at all, y'all. This woman Sad, man. Sad when you're not even safe in your own home no more, man. Um, and I'm really tired of talking about these things. These things been occurring, occurring, occurring. They shouldn't occur. This police officer didn't have four or six jobs, four to six jobs over the last five years. Uh, he's not a stable police officer. Um, he need to be in jail. Simple as that, man. The guy need to be in jail. Uh, there's nothing else to talk about, man. This is a senseless murder, man. I'm talking about senseless murder. I don't know if y'all been following this, but but please go and follow and, and and check this out. This murder was not justified at all, man. It's just wrong. Everything screams wrong about it. You know, a couple of people been hitting me up about it. Um, I just did a little research on it. But from the most part, just a senseless murder, man. Um, due to the hands of a police officer. Police officers are supposed to be the ones who protect us when we need them, man. You know, when I need them, I'm going to call them. I ain't bullshit. When I need the police, I feel like, shit, I'm going to call them, man. When I call them, I need you to go for me to help. I'm, I'm scared or whatever. I'm in danger. Nigga, protect. But when they come to your home and gun you down the way they did, damn cowardly dog. That police officer that killed Miss Sonya Massey is a damn cowardly dog. He shouldn't be. He shouldn't be wearing no uh, police suit. He gonna deserve to have no badge. He gonna deserve to have nothing but a motherfucking long jail sentence. That's all he deserve. And that's all I'm gonna say about that, man. That's all I'm gonna say about that, man. Do your research on that. Somebody hit me up and asked me, Doug, would you take Dak Prescott over uh, Pat Mahone? Hell no. Now, I love Dak, but he ain't no motherfucking Pat Mahone. Is you crazy? You need to be drug tested asking me something like that. I know I'm a Dak fan. I'm a cow. I know this. But we being real now. This, all that bullshit. Dak over uh, uh, Pat? Never. Never. I could never do that. Somebody else hit me up. Dude, would you take uh uh Joe Burrow? Would you take Joe Burrow over Lamar Jackson? Hell no. I like Joe Burrow. I like him. But he ain't no motherfucking Lamar. Ain't too many quarterbacks to ever play the game like Lamar Jackson. I know we had the Mike Vick scope, love him to death, but Lamar better. Do you hear me? Lamar Jackson is better. He ain't as quick and electric firing as Vic was. But an overall quarterback, got to put Lamar Jackson over Michael Vick. But the question was, would I take Joe Burrow over Lamar Jackson? And I'm looking y'all dead in y'all eyes right now. I'm telling you, hell no. Hell no. I can't. Not my Lamar Jackson. Not my man who negotiated his own contract with no agent. Shit, Lamar Jackson, the man. He, he did that. Got more money than they thought he was going to get. And he came out and delivered. No, he didn't get him to no Super Bowl, but he won league MVP. He did that. And they gonna be ready this year again with Derrick Henry over there. They gonna be ready again over there. You can you can you can you you can bet rest your bottom dollar on that. Somebody asked me, Doug, would you stick your hand inside inside of a hole with a rattlesnake in? Hell no!
Boy, they rattlesnake venom poison? I'm from Texas. We know all about them rattles. You hear that rattle before you see that snake? You hear that rattling? You get your ass up out of there. See, only a white person can hear a damn rattler. I think I see a horse. This is a rattlesnake hole. Let me stick my hand up in there and see. Watch. <laughs> Black people ain't sticking no hand in no goddamn hole. Is you crazy? She. We better stick our hands in damn potato chips bag without looking in it when we sticking our hand in them. We ain't get sticking our hand in them. We looking. She. Y'all better get for real around here. I'm trying to help y'all out, white people. I'm trying to help y'all live a little longer lives, man. Shit, tired of hearing y'all y'all doing this crazy ass shit, man. Don't look around. You're losing legs. You're getting bit by snakes and spiders. You're getting ran over by elephants over there. Now leave them motherfucking elephants alone. They don't want no damn peanuts. Leave them goddamn elephants alone. I told you, white people, man. If y'all want something to do, y'all bored. Y'all want to study somebody. Study my baby mama, goddamn. That's all I'm saying, goddamn. Study this crazy motherfucker, God. man. I, I ain't got no answer for. Her. I ain't got no. I ain't got no answer for. Her. Now that's one damn test I can't pass. Is her. I need y'all to help me out with that one. Now we finna get back to the damn relationship. The relationship crazy day, fellas. Y'all know I'm not lying. These women want you to uh be faithful, pay all the pay all the bills, and be her protector. Never. I'm not doing all three. I need you to protect me. You better get your brother. He always knocking my ass out. Call him. I can't, I can't, I'm not Superman. God didn't put me on earth to be no damn protector. He put me on earth to make people laugh. That's what I can do. All that throwing hands, all that, no. Now, if we talking about throwing miles, and, and I can win that war. But when they come to me right here, I get real quiet. Yeah, I talk all the shit in the world today. I do this and that. But when somebody says, let's step outside, I lost. I'm losing that war every time. I'm not, man, I'm not thinking go out there and do that. Why, why do I want to go out there and hurt myself and, and, and get dirty when I'm clean? You know what I'm saying? I'm clean. That's my excuse these days because I can't fight. Man, I ain't finna go out there and fight you, dog. Man, I, 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 man I'm better than that. Yeah, you better than that because I'm going to talk myself out the situation because I don't believe in violence. I don't believe in no violence. I, I, I believe in getting by. Now, that's what I'm going to tell you when I'm by myself. When I'm with my people, you're liable to get jumped. That's all I love. to get jumped. And I'm throwing the first punch. Come here. Come here. I'm just saying. If I'm by myself. Dub ain't got no plex with nobody. I'm not violent. Not violent when I'm by myself. When I'm with my people, shh, anything goes. Y'all gonna respect me. Y'all gonna watch how y'all talk to me when I got my people. Y'all gonna talk to me with respect. And that's what it's all about these days. Having respect for one another. But we ain't been having that lately, man. People will try to run over you if you let them, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell people these days you proud of them or, or you happy for them without people saying you riding D. No, you riding D. No, I just want to give somebody, pay homage to somebody, show them some respect. Bro, I appreciate what you're doing. Ma'am, I'm proud of you. Like, it's, it's okay to tell people that you're proud of, man. Forget what other people say. Oh, man, you riding deep. They just mad, man. They ain't got nothing going on in their life, so they don't want nothing going on in your life. Never forget this. People want you to do, do good, but they don't never want you to do better than them. But that's not me. I want everybody that's around me, everybody I'm associated with, to be doing great or if not better than me. That's motivation to me when I see my homies get houses built and cars and, and businesses. That's motivation to me to make me want to step my game up and do better than what I'm doing. I'm not sitting back criticizing and talking down on this and that. No, not what I do. I'm here to motivate. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to help the situation. Everybody in the world know I'm a big LeBron fan. LeBron won that game the other day for uh, USA. Okay, cool. Say the Lakers. That's what I want. Saving uh, Team USA. Save the Lakers. That's what I want. Save the purple and gold. That's all I'm saying. AD running around here happy. That's what LeBron do. Look at what you going to do. What you going to do? I'm sorry, y'all. I got, I, got, I got hot. You know, I get hot when I talk about them Lakers. I get hot. I get frustrated. Whew. I'm sorry. Shout out to my boy Lil Wayne too, man. I don't know if y'all heard it, man. Get shot at me out in the song, man. Shout out to Lil Wayne. Song is called uh, Saturday Mornings with Corday. Go and check it out. Shout out to Lil Wayne for that, man. Big ups to Wayne for that, man. I'm feeling good, y'all. I'm in a good place right now, man. The podcast is doing great. I'm feeling good.
uh, I just love it when y'all get in the comments when y'all when y'all talk when y'all talk that talk to me. You know, dub love it. You know what I'm saying? Because I be writing the comment with y'all, and don't forget by watching the show by sharing the show. I'm gonna fly somebody out, a couple of people out. Um, not at once, no, not at one time. You know, different times of the year, I'm gonna fly find people out to go to the uh, baseball game, the football game, and the basketball games with me. You could be that person that I fly out and go to the game with and have fun with. Um, that's my way of giving back. That's, I want y'all to really know who Bubba Dub is as a person, as a man, as a father, as an entrepreneur. I want y'all to really know who I am at heart and what I stand for. I only stand for love and peace and to respect everybody. Um, that's what I'm about, man. I'm a stand up guy, man. Um, I show love and respect to anybody that show love to me. I'm not disrespecting nobody. I don't care what color you are, what size you are. Um, I'm just a respectable guy. I'm going to continue to be that. Um, so with that being said, keep sharing this show. Um, and you will have a chance to uh, come out to the ball games with me, man, and uh, have some fun and enjoy life. It's one thing about life. You got to enjoy it. A lot of people didn't, didn't get the legacy past 15 or 21 or, or 30 or whatever. Because I know I got some 45 years old watching. I got some 50 year old watching, some 60 year old watching. Shout out to y'all. Salute to y'all. Um, but enjoy your life, man. You only get one. You don't want to be in the nursing home. Boy, I had a time where I could have went and didn't. You don't want to be that. You want to be the guy that said, man, if I had an opportunity, I made it. I made the most of it. Some of y'all who watching and want to go back to school, take your head back to school, fam. Real talk. Some of y'all who can't get a job, go and get your trade, man. You ain't got to sell dope. You ain't got to steal, rob, do all that, a scam. Go and get you a motherfucking trade, man. Real talk. And better yourself. I ain't nothing like better yourself. Some of y'all were making twelve dollars an hour. Now you're making fourteen. Some of you making twenty dollars an hour. Now you're making twenty. It's all about the elevation. It ain't where you start. It's where you end, baby. This show was started at the bottom. Now we're trending in the right motherfucking direction, and I love it. Hopefully y'all love it too, cause I'm gonna keep it real on this show. It's gonna be funny, but it's gonna be the truth. One thing I'm learning about entertainment being people don't like the truth. They rather hear lies. But we ain't gonna hear no lies over. I'm just giving you the truth and opinions from the way I see things. Now your top ten might be different from mine. That's cool. Some of us might have the same players, but in a different order. That's cool. But I gotta give it to you truthfully how I really see things right now. And and I believe in calling the space, but I do. I'm on the fucking do. I'm just saying. And I understand say this with, man. Uh, every chick I've been with cheated on me, man. I mean, I've been down in the dirt. I've been crying, man. I done cried to my girl mama, man. And like, in her own snot coming out my nose. I'm too crying. Uh, just sad walking in the rain. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, looking for her. Knowing she at another dude's house and shit. Man, I, I, I've been through, I've been through it, y'all. Well, I've been through it. Fire. Through the wire with Kanye, I've been through the foul like Shaka Chun. Shaka Chun, I've been through the foul. But now I'm better. See, I was lost. Now I'm found. You know what I'm talking about? I was lost. Now I'm found. Same way with y'all. Somebody watching the show could be depressed, going through some shit, had a bad day. It ain't over. Lord, wake you up to see another day. You got another day to do something. Now, not another day to go out and fuck off, but another day to do something with your life. Do something with your life. Trash of the day going to the NFL who made that top 10 uh, quarterback list. Trash. Absolutely trash. And y'all know it. Y'all need to reach out to the real people, man. To the real. Like, like okay, you want to go to the football players and coach. Cool. Reach out to some fans. We we know who we know who is and who ain't. We the one spending our hard-earned money going to these motherfucking games, buying jerseys. We the one. Start reaching out to the people. They gonna speak the truth. Y'all gonna bullshit and be biased and not ain't no bias on this show. Ain't no motherfucking bias on this show. I ain't got no ties to nobody. I'm gonna keep it 100 whether you like it or not. That's what that's what got me where I'm at today. Being 100, sticking to sticking to what I really believe in. I'm not letting nobody come over and change the way I think in my no. So ain't. Why I came over here with the volume and say, say, hey, let me continue to be me in this partnership we got together. You can't find that nowhere else. They want to dictate volume. Real deal over here. Be you bubble. You know how don't like boys talk. Be you bubble. Absolutely. That's the only way I know how to be is me. 
That's how I'm being me. I'm free as a bird on this mother. I'm having fun. Hopefully, y'all having fun listening because you can't get this shit nowhere, player. Not this kind of comedy and sports talk and, and the world. Talk. You can't get it nowhere. Not like how I do it. A lot of people do it, but not like I do it. You know what I'm saying? What you when I'm doing what I'm doing while I'm doing it, as I'm doing it, can't nobody do it. Like your boy. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Rock and rolling day. I told y'all, man, get in them comment section. Talk to me. Email me at bubba morgan94 at gmail.com. Email me. Talk to me. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. Talk to y'all. I can tell y'all this every show, man. Email me. Ask me questions. Pick my brain, man. On anything you trying to do, pick my brain. I give you an answer. If I see it, I will reply and give you an answer. Now, when I like I say this weekend, your boy Dub gonna be out there on the West Coast. Yeah, I'm gonna be at Tommy T, Pleasanton, California. Got four shows: two Friday, two Saturday. At Tommy T, pull up. Sunday, you can catch me in Sacramento at Punchline. Pull up. If you ain't gonna be able to make it in you in them area, tell your people, man, go see my boy Dub. He the truth. Guarantee I won't let you down. If you think you love me on this show here, see me in real life. That's all I'm saying. Come see this, come see the show in real life. I'm him. I'm him. Thank y'all for watching. I see y'all when I see y'all. I'm out.